Well, another nice Saturday of weather, a little bit on the hot side, but we're going to be working on that over the next few days. A little time lapse for you from Palm City. Beautiful blue skies throughout the day. Did some fair weather cumulus clouds. Now, towards the evening, we did see some more impressive clouds, and a few folks saw some showers and even some lightning today, but most of us stayed dry. Nice little sunset tonight from Palm City. Oh, beautiful colors of pink right there. Want to also show you some beauty from our weather spotters. This is from Sean O'Brien, Vero Beach. Just beautiful there. Another shot of the pier. Gorgeous. This is from Dorothy Bass in Delray Beach. And we'll leave you with this shot from Michael Patel or Okeechobee. Uh, nice to see. I think that's an Anhinga there in the foreground and uh, the sun in the background. Just gorgeous shot there. Thank you, Michael, for sending those in. We love our weather spotters. For today in West Palm Beach, we made it up to 87 degrees. The high was uh, average is 83, so four degrees above average Vero Beach making up to 88. Their low this morning was 65. So everybody was above average. In fact, we're still very warm on this Saturday evening. Temperatures in the upper 70s, 77 degrees West Palm Beach, 77 degrees in Jupiter and even warm inland 79 Okeechobee, 75 for Indian Town. Now we did see a few pop up showers and storms this evening. Uh, the storms mainly inland Palm Beach County. So that does indicate there was a little bit of a sea breeze activity today and tomorrow a better chance of seeing a little more coverage along that sea breeze but that means it's going to be late afternoon. Now, if you're planning to do some outdoor running or exercising, whatever you might be doing tomorrow, take a look at these temperatures because you might want to do things either early in the morning or uh, towards the evening when things are a little more tolerable because during the middle portions of the day, we're talking about temperatures upper 80s near the coast, low 90s inland. So here's the setup. High pressure off to our east in the western Atlantic. That's keeping us very warm, humid too. And here's the front that's going to be headed our way Monday and that will bring us a chance of some showers too and even some storms. The Storm Prediction Center has put us under the threat, a marginal threat of strong to severe storms. That's a level one out of five, so not likely, but uh, there is a chance. So we'll be watching that for you. All right, Vipercast model, a little more robust than I think what will happen, but there is a chance for some of those sea breeze initiated showers and storms to actually push back toward the coastline tomorrow evening. So daytime, we're fine, but we could get a few evening to late night showers. Then Monday, we'll start to see intermittent activity throughout the day. The front moves through. We start to dry out on Tuesday and the rest of the work week looking pretty nice. So here's that dry air pushing south all the way through West Palm Beach by Tuesday. And that's when temperatures will be cooler tonight. 70 degrees, mostly clear tomorrow. Hot and humid, 88, even hotter inland for the boaters. Seas two to three. And here's your seven day forecast. Temperatures will be hot the next two days and much cooler on Tuesday, a full moon on Wednesday.